Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first video of 2020. I hope that you all had a great holiday season and that you've had a really good start to your year. We are starting off the new year in our new home and we're so excited that we're finally here. I am actually sitting in my new office slash sewing room and it just feels so amazing to finally have my own dedicated space after working out of our kitchen for two years. <laughs> There's still a lot to do and we're not completely settled yet. We still have lots of furniture to get, so this room is nowhere near finished. Um, I'm still using the old kitchen island um, that I used to sew on as kind of my sewing table slash cutting table, so that much hasn't changed. Um, so I do need to get a proper sewing table and then hopefully a new cutting table eventually as well. But once I do have this room all set up, I would love to do kind of a sewing room tour and like organization video. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, then definitely let me know in the comments below. One of the things that I do have set up though is my computer desk, which you can see behind me. Um, so this is from FlexiSpot and they kindly sent it to me and I'm actually collaborating with them on this video. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes to talk about the desk and then we'll get back to the video. So this is the FlexiSpot Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk EN1. And I have it in the 42 inch size in the white colorway, but it comes in a range of colors and sizes to suit your space. I personally love this desk, it's the perfect size for what I need, and it's fully height adjustable so you can position it exactly where it's best for you, whether you're both sitting or standing. It also has four memory buttons so you can save your preferred setting and really easily go back to it whenever you want to change from sitting to standing or vice versa. I personally need a standing desk because after years of working in an office, sitting with poor posture, I now have issues with my neck and shoulders. So being able to sit and stand when I need to and have my desk perfectly adjusted to my height really helps. And with so many of us now working from home, this is the perfect solution to have a completely ergonomic setup in your own space. One thing I love about this desk is how quiet the motor is. So Jason has a larger standing desk in his office and it's really loud comparative to this one. This was also really easy to assemble at home. However, the one thing I will say is that you need a drill um, because the desktop didn't come with pre-drilled holes to attach the buttons. So. Luckily we got a drill as our housewarming gift from my parents and it was really easy for us to do, um, but just let me to know if you're actually interested in getting this desk. So once again, thank you to FlexiSpot for sending me this desk and helping me get my office set up. I really love this desk, it's exactly what I needed and I can't wait to use it for the new year. So now onto the topic of today's video, which is winter outfits. So originally for the first video of the year, I was planning on doing a little review and sew along of the heroin jeans pattern, which is what I'm sewing right now. Um, but unfortunately halfway through filming that video my machine broke, <laughs> um, which is kind of my fault because the machine is older than I am, it was my mom's machine before me, and um, I don't think it had ever been serviced, and one of the gears that turns the feed dogs, which feeds your fabric through the machine, um, was just completely shot, um, and working on the really heavyweight denim when the jeans really just killed it. Um, so that one's gonna have to wait while I sort that out. Long story short, what I thought I would do today instead is a little winter styling video. So winter is typically one of the hardest style seasons for me personally, um, especially the space after the holidays when winter is kind of dragging on. I start to look forward to spring and I get really bored with my winter wardrobe and I kind of get into like a little bit of a winter rut style wise. So I did what I always do when I start feeling like this and I went on Pinterest and looked up a ton of outfit ideas that I thought I could recreate using pieces that I already have in my own wardrobe. So I have a board on Pinterest called Capsule Inspiration and I kind of have it separated into the different style seasons. So I'll do one for fall, winter and one for spring, summer for each year. Um, and that's where I save all of my outfit inspiration if you're interested to go there and have a look. And I thought I'd just kind of share that process of finding outfit inspiration and then recreating those outfits from pieces that I already have in my wardrobe with you today. So when it comes to my wardrobe, and especially my winter wardrobe, my kind of basic wardrobe formula is sweater, pants, sneakers or boots, and a jacket. So most of the outfits that I'm going to be sharing today are going to probably follow that formula. Um, I am going to try and mix it up by incorporating different color palettes and shapes, and a mix of pieces from sustainable brands, um, thrift stores or secondhand like Poshmark, and me-made ones as well. 
but hopefully these will all be really simple outfits that you can recreate using what's in your wardrobe as well. One important thing to remember when recreating outfits from inspiration is that you don't need to have the exact item that someone else is wearing. It doesn't even have to be the same color. You can take any sort of inspiration that you want from a picture, whether that's the color palette that they're wearing, just kind of the shape of what they're wearing or the silhouette, but just try to take the inspiration that you like from the photo and just make it your own using pieces that you already have. So I think that's enough of an introduction, so let's go ahead and get started with the outfits. So I'm going to use my computer to watch the footage. I've already filmed the outfits, so I'm just going to watch the playback and kind of talk you through each of the pieces and what the photo is, um, where I got the inspiration from. So first up, what we have is what I consider to be like the most basic, um, kind of quintessential minimalist winter outfit. Um, so I've just taken a grey sweater, um, it's actually the one that I'm wearing here, it's just a grey crew neck. And this one was from Frank and Oak, and I've paired it with some light wash denim, which are my A Gold. I never know how to pronounce that brand name. Someone please help me. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's A Gold or like a Gold E. Um, I don't know. Anyway, these are uh, my favorite pair of denim. I wear them all the time. They're the '90s fit, and I can't remember the name of the wash, but I'm pretty sure that they still have them. Um, and you can also find them really easily secondhand as well. There's a lot of them on Poshmark. Um, and then as my jacket, I've just taken this kind of long black coat again. Um, this one was originally from Aritzia, and I don't shop there anymore because obviously it's a fast fashion brand, um, but I do have a lot of pieces in their wardrobe from before when I used to shop there a lot. Um, so I'm kind of following the rule of the most sustainable thing you can do is wear what you already have, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, and a lot of their pieces are just high quality and have lasted in my wardrobe a long time, so I have no intention of getting rid of them, and I'm just going to keep wearing them. For shoes, I've just paired a very basic white Vegas sneaker, which is kind of my go-to sneaker, and then the bag is an Everlane tote. So yeah, just something really basic, really cozy. Um, I would wear this anywhere. Yeah, this is kind of my go-to outfit when I don't really know what to wear. And I actually found quite a few photos of this sort of outfit or style on Pinterest. Um, another one was this one, where she was layering up with kind of a big chunky scarf and a crossbody bag. So I've added those to the outfit here as well, just as some accessories. Um, and yeah, I just really like this kind of cozy layered up look. So outfit number two is kind of um, a very similar take on the first outfit. I've just switched out the sweater for something with a little bit of a higher neck. Um, and then I'm also swapping out the shoes for some black boots as well. The sweater is from Everlane, and actually so are these boots. So these are the Everlane Rain Boot, and I've had these for a few years now, and they're probably one of my most worn winter shoes. Um, I just find that they're like quite heavy duty, they're completely waterproof, so you can step in sort of any puddles, snow, rain, whatever. Um, and I find that they have really good grip on the bottom as well, so when it is kind of icy or snowy out, um, I find that they work really well. And they're also just really comfortable, so so definitely a good investment in my opinion. Um, and then finally, this kind of little slouchy bag is from the brand Auxiliary, which is an Aritzia brand, and I managed to find this on Poshmark, which I was really happy about. So yeah, just another take on kind of the same sort of classic outfit formula. Um, you can always switch up whatever you want out of this, change your sweater out, um, change the wash of the denim, switch from different boots, um, change the color of your jacket. There's kind of endless varieties of this outfit, um, but still just following the same sort of classic formula that always works. Okay, case in point, I guess I was just really into this outfit formula. Um, so here I'm kind of doing the same thing again. I'm just switching up the color palette and kind of the accessories to follow this photo. Um, so I've paired the same Frank and Oak sweater, the crew neck. Um, these are also the same um, pair of 90s fit denim. Um, but they're just in a black wash, and I got these ones on Poshmark as well. They're actually a size up from my light wash ones, um, which it's interesting with the fit of these because they always say to size down for this um, particular style. I size down in the light wash ones, and they fit quite well, and I'm happy with the fit of them. Um, but maybe it's the wash, I don't know. Um, they're a little bit tight, kind of around the hip area. And then these ones um, just feel like a much softer denim, and I sized up in them because that was what was available on Poshmark. Um, and the waist seems really big now, so I don't know, something about the different types of denim um, or the washes or something kind of changed the sizing on me, but I still get a lot of wear out of them, and I really like how comfortable they are. 
And the shoes are also from Poshmark. Um, those are secondhand Dr. Martin's Oxford shoes. Um, this coat is a camel coat. I got it on Depop probably like three years ago now. I just loved it when I first saw it. I loved the shape of the arms. I loved the color. It originally came with shoulder pads, so I had to remove those myself. And then I actually also took in the arm seam a little bit to kind of take away um, the extra fabric where the shoulder pads were, and it fits a lot better now. So really love this coat. It's one of my favorite coats, and I was so happy to find it secondhand. And then I'm just wearing the same bag as well from the last outfit. So one thing I love about all three of these outfits is they all follow the very same basic formula. Um, they're all kind of neutral colors and every single one of the pieces can be mix and matched so you can create like a variety of outfits from these basic pieces. So I feel like all these outfits are just very basic. They're all recreatable, um, really versatile so they can work for a lot of different events or occasions. Um, and they're also very repeatable as well, so they just kind of never get old. Okay, last one of these outfits with the same kind of jacket, <laughs> um, I swear. Um, but changing up the silhouette just a little bit with kind of a wider leg pant as well, just to kind of show you that option. Um, so here I'm wearing a crew neck sweater. This one is from Everlane, and it's their cashmere crew neck, I think. And for bottoms, I've got the painter's pant from Curator San Fran, and I've just popped on a belt as well. This is a really old one that I've had in my closet for years. I think it was from Aritzia. Um, and then I'm just layering with the same camel coat from the last outfit and the same Everlane rain boots and the auxiliary bag as well. So yeah, still very classic, very timeless, um, but the silhouette of the pants kind of changes it up a little bit. These pants definitely run large, so I'm wearing a size small here and I'm normally um, a medium to large in bottom, so like a size US 8. Um, and these fit me with quite a bit of room, so. Okay, so this next outfit we're finally changing up a little bit. Um, so this was based on two photos that I found and it's basically just an outfit with a quilted jacket and then some kind of lighter pants and boots. So to recreate this one, I'm wearing the same Everlane cashmere crew neck and then these are some kind of high-waisted cotton pants that I found at my old thrift store. I really miss that thrift store. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are probably one of my most favorite and most worn pieces that I've ever thrifted. I think they were like $8 or something, and I get so much wear out of them. So for the jacket, this is the Everlane liner jacket. Um, actually, this is probably the jacket that I've gotten the most wear out of this season. Um, it's relatively newer. I think I received this from them in the fall. And yeah, I just have been kind of wearing it nonstop ever since. It's really easy to just slip over any kind of layer, um, given the nature of the fabric. It doesn't have a hood or anything, um, but you can layer it under like a rain jacket or something with a hood if you need it. Um, so I'm pairing the same super old crossbody bag. I don't think I mentioned it in the outfit before, but that one is also from Aritzia and I bought that like probably five to ten years ago now. I can't remember how long it's been. Um, but that's kind of just like my everyday bag that I wear most often. And then also just an old wool beanie from them as well. And then the same Everlane um, rain boots. So yeah, I really love this outfit. This is definitely something that I feel really comfortable in, really like myself in. Um, it's not quite as like classic and tailored as the previous looks, which I like. It's a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back, which is a little bit more my style. So this is definitely more comfortable for me and something that I would wear basically to any scenario, whether that's going to get groceries, going to meet a friend, going out for kind of a winter walk. Okay, so here's the inspiration for this next outfit. And to recreate it, I am wearing this linen button-down shirt. This is a really beautiful shirt that was sent to me by Power of My People, which is a local brand based out of Vancouver. It has a really interesting collar on it as well, so it's kind of like a stand-up collar. It doesn't have like the fold-over collar, which I really like. And the pocket is kind of tilted like this, so it's just kind of an interesting detail that changes up a very classic and basic piece. I'm wearing it with my same light wash denim and the same Dr. Martin's Oxford shoes. And then to warm it up a little bit, I'm layering with this sweater, which is one that my mom actually knit me. I think the pattern is like the grandpa cardigan. Um, it's from Lion Brand and it's also using their fisherman's wool. And the name is actually very appropriate because um, the buttons on it are actually wooden buttons that were made by my grandpa. So yeah, I really love this cardigan and it's a really special piece. Um, and she's wearing it this way in the photo, so I thought I would kind of recreate it that way as well, but I don't think this is something that I would ever really wear 
around. Um, the sweater over the shoulders look for me is maybe a little bit too preppy. I would more likely wear this with the sweater as just a regular cardigan, um, which is how I've styled it here now as well. So yeah, I love this pairing. Um, I'm a huge fan of wearing linen and wool together, especially in the winter and laying with that. There's just something about that combination which is just, uh, like it's just so good, it feels so comfortable. Um, and a lot of my me made pieces in my wardrobe are linen, um, so being able to layer with like a nice comfortable wool over top, it just feels really nice, it feels natural, it feels comfortable on the skin and it feels cozy and warm. Um, so I really love this combination and it's something that I probably wouldn't have paired together originally um, without finding this photo, so I'm glad that I was able to get this inspiration and kind of come up with a new outfit idea for my wardrobe. So here's the inspiration for this next outfit. Um, I really love this one just because it's very basic, very casual. I feel like you could layer up underneath the sweater so that you didn't actually need a jacket. So yeah, if you have some kind of warmer base layers underneath a big chunky wool sweater like this, then you could absolutely wear it out without a jacket, which is so nice because sometimes in winter it just feels like if you do go out, all your outfit is is just your jacket. <laughs> um, so it's nice to be able to kind of change it up a little bit. So this sweater is from Baba. It's my one piece from there and um, I love the brand, but it's pretty expensive, quite out of my price range. I've invested in one piece from them. I love it. I'm going to wear it till the day I die, but I think from now on I'm just going to focus on knitting my own pieces. Um, it's a lot more economical that way. It just takes a bit longer. <laughs> Um, and I've also paired it with these um, classic Levi's. I think this is the 550 fit. I bought these from a small um, Instagram secondhand store called State and Plain Vintage, and they fit me so well. Like the waist is great. Um, they're definitely a more like vintage style, so they're more of a mom fit. They kind of balloon out around the hips, then they taper down to the ankle. Um, but it's just a very classic like blue denim wash and. So yeah, I feel like this is a pretty accurate recreation of the original look. I was really comfortable in this outfit. I really liked it. It really felt like me again. Um, and again, not something that I would have originally thought to pair myself. Um, but now that I've kind of recreated it based on this photo, it's definitely something that I'm going to keep in rotation. Okay, I lied. We have one more jeans, sweater, and jacket combination. <laughs> um, but this one's a little bit different. So. Um, again, I'm wearing the same Everlane cashmere crew neck sweater, the same Levi's jeans with the belt that I wore in a previous outfit. For the jeans this time, I've cuffed them at the bottom. Um, they're a little bit long on me, so when I wear them um, with different types of shoes, I like to cuff or uncuff them, depending. And then in the photo, it looks like she's wearing like a navy, like a really dark navy trench coat, which I don't have. Um, I do have a navy rain jacket, but I thought that for winter it would be better to pair it with a parka instead. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. This is the Everlane Renew Long Puffer, I believe. And yeah, this one's really nice. It has a zip up the front, it snaps up the front as well, it has a nice hood. Very cushy and warm, it has some pockets. Just your kind of standard winter parka, which is pretty necessary where I live in Canada, especially with all of the snow and freezing rain we've had recently. And yeah, for shoes, it looks like in the photo she's wearing boots. I'm not sure why I didn't wear the rain boots with this one, um, but I decided to kind of switch it up and wear the Dr. Martens Oxfords again, um, and then just the same old wool toque. So yeah, just very similar outfit formula, very classic, um, very wearable, very repeatable, but just by mixing and like swapping out one or two pieces or changing things up, um, you get a very different look. Um, for something like this, you could absolutely swap out the jacket, you could absolutely swap out the shoes. So yeah, I think all of these pieces are really good investments to have because they're just so versatile and they can work in so many different ways in your wardrobe. So this next outfit was inspired by a few photos that I found on Pinterest that kind of have the same sort of color palette slash sweater and pants combo going on. So to recreate these, I am wearing my Fisherman's Wool sweater. This one was knit by my mom again, um, and I love this sweater. It was an absolute labor of love, and not something that I could knit for myself, at least not at this point. Maybe in the future, something to aspire to with my knitting, um, but I've never done kind of cable patterning like this before. And this, again, was a lion brand pattern as well as wool. 
um, and just a really, really beautiful sweater. I wear this every season, I love it. And I just paired it with my 90s denim again in the darker wash with the Dr. Martens Oxfords as well. So yeah, just very simple. Um, with something like this, obviously, if I was going outside, I would throw on a jacket as well. Any of the jackets from the previous outfits that I've worn would work, I think, in this case. Yeah, I think I just, towards the end, <laughs> started getting tired of putting the same jacket on an outfit and just having the outfit be the jacket, so. And then just to kind of show you um, a different variation on sort of the same outfit. So same sweater again, and then um, wearing it with the thrifted pants. So a little bit more of like a monochrome outfit. But then what I've done is paired it with some black accessories kind of to anchor it a little bit, which is what I saw in the photos as well. And I thought that looked really nice together, so. This outfit was inspired by this photo um, and it's basically just an excuse to wear my new <laughs> cardigan that I knit myself. Um, so this one is the Oversized Seasons cardigan by Ozetta and the fabric is um, by Peyton's I believe. It's their classic wool worsted in the color country blue um, and I use thrifted buttons. All of the details for this sweater can be found on my Ravelry which I'll link below. But yeah, I just really love the color of this and I came across this image on Pinterest that had the same kind of color sweater and I thought that I could really easily recreate it using this new sweater that I made. This sweater took me about three months to make and that's because in the middle of making it we had the holiday season as well as our move. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty slow make but now that it's done I'm super happy with how it turned out and um, yeah, it's been a very welcome addition to my hand knit sweater wardrobe. And then to recreate the kind of look that she's got going on in the photo, I've just taken my grey woolly scarf. Um, I don't think I mentioned this before, this one is also a really, really old piece from Aritzia. I think that you can still get them, um, like they still have the same style and stock, it's just one that they've had for years and years. Um, but yeah, I bought this a long, long time ago and I've just never had to replace it or anything like that. It's my one scarf that I own and I just wear it um, all the time, basically whenever I want to wear a scarf it's really nice and warm, it's 100% wool, um, it's nice and big and cozy so you can wrap it a bunch of different ways. Yeah, definitely a winter wardrobe staple for sure. Okay, we're kind of nearing towards the end now. Um, so for the last few outfits I thought I would do something a little bit more like casual, a little bit less dressed up. Um, things that I would probably wear more around the house or just kind of out running errands. So this first one was inspired by this photo. It's just a very simple kind of gray athletic crew sweater and black pants, sneakers, and a hat. So I recreated this using an Everlane athletic crew. And then these pants are actually me made linen pants. Um, and they're more of like a heavyweight linen. So they're actually really good for winter wear. Um, if you do live somewhere really cold, then what I always recommend with linen pants in winter is just to wear a pair of leggings under them. It really warms it up and if anything, like I get too hot. Yeah, just super basic, very minimalist kind of athletic style. I've also paired it with just my regular white sneakers and then um, a canvas tote bag and just a little ball cap. This one I found on Poshmark. I just needed a little hat like this and it wasn't very expensive so I just bought that and I actually get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, super casual, um, very relaxed, very laid back. Definitely something I would hang around the house in. Um, if I was gonna go out, I'd probably layer my parka on top of this. But yeah, very like minimal, casual winter outfit. This is also probably something that's not super my style. I'd say that this is more kind of like streetwear slash athleisure, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, it's always nice to kind of try different styles and get a little bit adventurous with my wardrobe, especially this time of year, like I said, when I am kind of in a wardrobe rut. So this is definitely something that I wouldn't have thought of on my own, but now that I've worn it, um, I actually felt really comfortable in it and really liked it. So it's definitely something that I would probably wear again. So for this next outfit, it looks like she's wearing sweatpants, but I just chose to wear the same linen pants as in the last outfit. I've just got a really simple, basic white long sleeve tee, and then um, this is also a sweater that I made myself. Um, so this is the Ozetta Nature's cardigan, and this was made using the Lion brand Fisherman's Wool, I think in the Heather Brown. Um, and this is probably my favorite piece that I've ever knit myself. Um, I love the way that it fits, I love the color, I love the shape of it. Um, the buttons were thrifted and they were like the perfect buttons for this cardigan, and I wear it all the time, I absolutely love it. Um, so again, I just paired it with the uh, canvas 
little shopping bag. And then for shoes, I've got my Birkenstock Boston clogs. I absolutely love these shoes. <laughs> I think some people might not think that they're very stylish or fashionable, but they're so comfortable. Um, I actually love the look of them. And yeah, they're just very much my style, like very casual, laid back, um, slip on, slip off. Um, definitely one of the most worn shoes in my wardrobe for sure. And to kind of warm them up for winter, I just wear them with socks. And then the same little baseball hat again as well. Okay, last but not least, I have a very kind of comfortable athleisure look again. So I found this photo on Pinterest. She's just wearing kind of a typical sweatsuit and then a parka with some sneakers and a hat. And I thought this would be very easy for me to recreate. Um, so I'm just wearing this set. It's the same athletic crew neck from Everlane as before. And then I'm wearing it with their sweatpants as well. The same black socks and Veja sneakers. And then the Everlane parka. And then to top it off, I've just got the same kind of canvas tote bag. And then this is a little ribbed beanie that I knit myself. Um, it's the two by one hat pattern by, I believe, Sari Nordland. Um, all the details for that are in my Ravelry as well. So yeah, um, just a very basic like throw on to go grab groceries when you've been relaxing at home <laughs> or um, pretty sure I wore this exact outfit the other day to take out the garbage. But yeah, just very comfortable. Um, something that I might wear when I just don't feel like getting dressed up that day um, or just being really comfortable. And even though this is the most kind of like casual and relaxed outfit out of them all, I think that this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, I guess maybe that is why it's my favorite is it is so comfortable and relaxed, especially in the winter when you just kind of like want to stay cozy and warm and it's really hard to get out of bed in the morning. It's very tempting to just kind of lounge around in sweatpants. So on the days that I do that, I think that this outfit actually um, makes it look a little bit more presentable when you include kind of the accessories and the jacket as well. Um, so definitely something I would feel comfortable kind of walking around outside in and being out in public in and wouldn't feel like I'm like sloppy or anything like that. So that is it for this roundup of winter outfits. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you got some good inspiration for your own wardrobe from it as well. A lot of these pieces are actually included in one of my recent blog posts, which was on my minimalist winter wardrobe essentials. So I'll link that down in the description box below in case you're wondering where to find any of these items, if there's something that you saw that you think you really need or that you really liked and want to add to your own wardrobe and just wanted to see where I got it. Other than that, hopefully I've done a good job of explaining where I've gotten anything, but if you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. If you like this kind of video, definitely let me know in the comments below. It's something that I really enjoy putting together and I would be happy to make more of them in the future. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.